story time with Madam Delina. Hello, boys and girls, and welcome to story time with Madam Delina. Madam Delina's delighted to tell you a story today, and we all love a good story. But we don't share good stories. We share great stories, and today you're in for a treat. Our story today is called The Boy and the Tree. And it's about a boy who found a wild adventure in an unexpected place. Are you ready to read this awesome book with me? Let's do it. The Boy and the Tree Written by Marlene Lammers and illustrated by Anja Stuchert. Supplied and read with permission from Penguin Random House. Thank you, Penguin Random House. A boy climbed up a flowery hill. It was sunny and spring-like and perfectly still. The view was immense, but the boy didn't smile. He'd been feeling blue. For the last little while. What does it mean to feel blue? Hmm, when you feel a little sad. Why do you think the boy was feeling sad, boys and girls? Let's read on to find out. On top of the hill stood a mighty old tree. It was tall and impressive, as trees tend to be. Its winding branches stretched far, wide and high. The boy reached their shade and sat down with a sigh. He held out his panda and felt a bit sad. Faded and old, this was all the boy had. I just feel so jealous of kids at my school. Their toys are so shiny and flashy and cool. That's it. That's why the boy was feeling sad. He was feeling jealous. Now what does it mean to feel jealous, boys and girls? It's when you feel sad or even angry because someone else has something that you would like. Have you ever felt sad or even angry because someone else has something that you would like? I know I have, and that's exactly how the boy felt. But who needs toys when you have me? The boy turned around and stared at the tree. Somewhat confused, he managed to say, But you're just a tree, and I want to play. I'm so much better than silly old toys said the tree in a deep and green sounding voice. If you just believe that I'm more than a tree, I'll be whatever you want me to be. The tree then laughed ha 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 in a tree-like way and said to the boy, climb up and let's play. As the boy climbed up, he felt so small and impressed by the tree, so grand and tall. Oh, have you ever climbed a tree, boys and girls? It can be so much fun, but remember that when you do, make sure you have an adult watching you closely. I don't think you'll ever see a spaceship that's as good as me. We'll travel at the speed of light, shooting to enormous height. So the tree is encouraging the boy to imagine that they're on a spaceship. Yes, cried the boy. Let's go to Mars. We'll visit the planets and see all the stars. So off they went up into space to visit every starry place that twinkled in the sky at night, a wondrous and amazing sight. But wait, said the tree, this is not all. As he spoke, he looked so tall. 
I don't think you'll ever see a pirate ship as great as me. You'll be the captain, if you please, as we set off for the seven seas. Yes, whooped the boy. Let's set sail, like in an awesome pirate's tale. So they're going from the spaceship to a pirate ship. Oh. We'll brave the storms, the rain, the waves, and hunt for treasure in dark caves. We'll journey to some distant lands and plant our flag into the sand. What a wild adventure! And he thought it was only a tree. Well, that's where we're going to end off with this week, boys and girls. Where else do you think the boy will go with the tree? A marvelous parade, perhaps? A circus? Well, we'll find out next week when we finish off with the story about the boy and the tree. And don't forget to subscribe to Madame Delina's channel so you can keep on watching these videos. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye for today. I'll see you next time. So hip, hip, hooray! Subscribe to Storytime with Madame Delina, like and share.